Wob Wob, this is my intro, Wob Wob. Welcome back, Guardians, and welcome to my new intro, Wob Wob 2.0. So, Wob Wob, hit that like button, Wob Wob. Back again with another Zer prediction video because apparently my content is boring and stale and I do this on repeat every week and nobody actually wants to view it even though it gets like 15 to 20,000 views a week and people actually ask me to upload it and when it's going up and want to make their own predictions. But just because one specific person doesn't like this type of content, that means everyone doesn't like it apparently. So I'm just going to roll with it anyway, even if everyone dislikes it. I'm still going to go with it, but let's get into the predictions. Up first, we have the Titans, and for the Titans, I believe we will see the Crest of Alpha Loopy, which is the exotic Titan chest armor, and it will cost you 13 strange coins, and it has auto rifle ammo, increases the amount of auto rifle ammunition you can carry, special weapon ammo, increases the special weapon ammunition you can carry, and keeper of the pack, you revive teammates faster, they revive you faster and your super also spawns additional orbs for teammates. If this does happen to come, this will be very, very useful in Trials of Osiris to be able to revive your teammates and have them revive you even quicker. Um, it looks okay. It's not the best looking thing, but it, it looks decent. Next, we have the Hunters. And for the Hunters, I will believe we will see the Acleophage Symbiote, or however you want to say or pronounce it. It's an exotic Hunter Helmet for Gunslingers, and it will cost you 13 Strange Coins. It has Fastball, which increases Grenade Throw Distance. Ashes to Asset, replenish Super Energy when you kill an enemy with a Grenade. And Last Man Standing, the main perk, is Golden Gun gains one additional shot per use. Extremely useful in PvP to have that extra shot when people might think you've fired three and that's it. They might pop out and come around the corner and you've got a fourth one and you can pop them. Or if you miss one, you've got a second chance to redeem yourself. Doesn't look the best in my opinion. I think they could have designed it to look a little bit better. But it does look unique, even though I don't personally like the way it looks. But it's a badass helmet, so make sure you buy it. If it does turn up for the Warlock, um, we well, I believe we will see the Light Beyond Nemesis helmet, which is the exotic Warlock helmet which can be used on either or class setup it will cost you 13 strange coins it has snap discharge increases melee attack speed um, infusion replenish health whenever you pick up an orb of light and keeper of the pack you revive teammates faster they revive you faster your super also spawns additional orbs for teammates I believe this is better for sun singer setups for that increased melee attack speed once you radiance your Punches become one hit, super power bomb someone in the face. And if you've got an increased melee attack speed, you can get your punches out even quicker. So definitely worth buying if it does turn up. And for the weapon, I believe we will see the Patience and Time, which is an exotic um, sniper rifle. And it's purchased from Zer for 17 strange coins. And it has the choice between Field Choke, QCB Ballistics and Aggressive Ballistics. I usually go with Field Choke which is more range and impact but it has increased recoil but it's not really that noticeable. It has a perk of Third Eye, Radar stays active while aiming down the weapon's sights. You have a choice between Custom Optics, Fitted Stock and Field Scout. That's better zoom, precision glass, increases weapon stability or maximum ammo capacity. Field Scout takes it from 4 bullets to 6 bullets which is very useful but the stability is also a decent one to choose from. And the main perk, patience and time, is you gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights, which means you turn invisible like the hunters do when they kneel. So definitely very useful, especially for arc burn, nightfalls, something like Omnigor where you can hide and you can sniper and then go invisible, etc, etc. Very, very useful. For the miscellaneous items, I believe we will see... Um, a chest engram and of course heavy ammo which is now appearing every week but I believe we may see an exotic shard tomorrow as well for the preparation for House of Wolves. Let me know what you think about my predictions guys. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below about your predictions and you know let's try and see if anyone can get it right. That would be awesome. Make sure you wub wub that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.